Lesson number six, part four. Estimate the activity duration in Promover. To estimate activity duration, you need to know which factor is driving your duration. Mainly, there, is, there are two factors can drive the A completion date is driving the activity duration. Usually, in the construction project, the client or whoever responsible will put a deadline date to complete the project. And you should balance the activity duration to match the deadline dates. Another factor could impact the, the duration of the activities, which is resources is driving the activity duration. In some cases, the resources could drive the activity duration based on resource availability and the site condition. I faced this case in one of the projects I worked in where there was only three tower cranes available to install the roof facade and the roof is only accessible by the tower crane. We had to estimate the duration required to install the roof facade based on the tower crane productivity rates. For example, this will show you how many roof panels can be installed using one tower crane multiplied by three tower crane divided on the total number of roof panels. To see this example, let's say that we have total facade panels of 2,500 panels. Total panels can be installed by tower crane per day, 30. Total tower crane, 3. So the total tower crane productivity equal to 3 by 30 equal to 90 panel per day. Duration required to install the roof facade, 2,500 divided by 990, which is a productivity, will give us 27.7 days. So this is the minimum duration the facade can be installed. And this is showing how the resources or the equipment can drive your duration. Now let's go and see how to estimate the activity duration on Primavera. This is our schedule and I'm going to show I want to see it by the WPS so I'll write here WPS and click apply I will remove this activity code columns from the columns customize I'll just double click the columns I don't know I need the activity name and the original duration let's put the estimate duration for each activity as I told you this could be done by calculations to see what is your crew if you don't have uh, if you have unlimited resources or you have limited resources and so on but now for our exercise here I will estimate some durations for the for for each activity and let's see how we can manage the completion date let's say you put here 30 days you can change this like this just change the duration here 30 day excavation 30 days backfilling PC concrete for footing is say 15 days RC is say 30 days column not 10 grid beam 10 slab on grid 25 Auto proofing, let's say 10, and let's apply this 10 days for all the activities. So I can select them. Control E will give me the duration, will fill down the duration. Ground floor column, let's put it 20 day, and the stairs 30 day, and we'll apply this for the remaining one. 20 day for column, one month for slab, again here 20 day for column, one month for slab, and roof, usually it is less duration, 
masonry work for ground floor let's say this is 20 and luster 20 and make the ceramic tile 20 so I can just from here and go up I'll fix this all of them 20 days painting work let make it one month metal work that's just to make it easy for us to make all of them one month and I fell down electrical work first fix and electrical work final fix leave this one say let the 30 30 and I fell down control E and I'll use the same for mechanical and firefighting let's make all of them one month elevator works could take two months and the close out let's give it 25 days <coughs> and this very rough estimate about the duration for each activity now we added the duration for all the activities let's go to see in the next lesson how we'll make the links